What's your open? Sunday continues out here in Brookside Park in Pasadena at the all-breed dog show Woof Woof Yourself. It's turning out to be a real hot one, and I've got a hot pair with me right now. Gail Parent and Kenny Solms are the hottest comedy writing team in television. And, uh, literally. I told you literally. It's I like read 90 that. degrees. I read that in the prepared remarks you people prepared for me. Thank you. And you just mentioned that you and I were making a Kenny Solms sandwich at the moment. That's right. <laughs> Tell a little bit about how you two got started writing as a team. Kenny? Well, we met in college, camera two. I always like go right into the camera. It's my ego. We it's met terrible. In college. I'll just show Isn't it? <laughs> we did and meet in college, um, it's true. A, a couple of years ago. <laughs> and uh, blew your chance, Kenny. Go ahead, Gail. <laughs> and we started writing. We started improvising, right? We started dating. That's yes. the truth. Why we didn't you follow through on that? She married somebody else in the department. We were in the drama department. And on weekends, we would start writing. I didn't mean it. It was just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but it lasted for, what, 10, 12 years? Yeah. Her, her marriage and your collaboration. Yeah. Uh, all three. That's right. And, nothing uh, sick in it, but just it's all three. And we all get along, you know. All three of us, her husband and me and her. Good thing. And me and my husband. <laughs> okay, you know, we're on the air. I don't think it's totally. Um, but we always were, like, very pushy in college. You know, they always, when we would go to sell something, they would say, oh, the kids are coming again. And you know, it's a, we still have that, they call us the kids. Well, have you ever getting... gotten that? With you and Tom? No, I never get that. They no. are the kids. I mean, it's embarrassing. It's We're in our 30s already. And you, but you work with some pretty high-powered people. Uh, you? You've done, th right. Several John times. John Rickles you. and Carol Burnett for a long time. And Carol Ford Burnett Winters. was our first big break. I mean, we were in New York and came out here very, very young to do the first year of the Burnett show. Mm -hmm. And we did that four years. And we still stay close with Carol. We did a special with her, Beverly Sills and Carol Burnett, Sills and Burnett at the Met. She's terrific, you know. And now you're working on Three Girls, Three. This is a special that NBC showed in March uh, to kind of see how it would play, and it got terrific reviews created by you two, so that they are, a week from Wednesday, going to put it on a three-show mini-series. Yeah, starting Wednesday, June 15th, yeah. Yeah, a week from Wednesday and the two Wednesdays thereafter from 9 to 10 o'clock. Tell a little bit about it, Gail. Uh -huh. um, actually, this is really Kenny's area. You threw it to oh. me, so I'll take it. Go on, Gail, um, and have fun with it. I will. It's, it's <laughs> a show starring three girls, and it's a regular variety show, only we go backstage sometimes to see what goes on backstage. And a lot of the material that we came up with uh, really happened back there. I mean, like in the first show, they were afraid of uh, what would happen if they were successful, ruining they their lives. the three girls who the are... three girls. What are their names now? Mimi Kennedy, Debbie Allen, and Ellen Foley. So if they were worried about success, we had in the backstage, uh, backstage line that Mimi said, you know, it's going to really, really ruin our social life, too. And Debbie said, what do you mean? And Mimi said, you know how many years it's been since Betty Davis has been on a date? You know, so we <laughs> used the real stuff. And the other factor is they're three unknowns. And that was a real talent search. We looked at over 300 girls. The number changed. And the number keeps Depending going on up. The interview. Did you two <laughs> cast them? It's true, though. We looked well, at this a lot is, of this, girls, this yes. is Flo Zickfield here. Kenny found them. And now he's going to be responsible for them for the rest of their lives. I know. I found, mm -hmm. I found them in New York. Uh, we tested about 18 girls. But we did see about 300 girls. And it was hard to find the, not only the three talented, but, but I'm the, tone deaf. the chemistry. Really? Gail's yeah. still mad that she's not one of the girls. No, I, had, I wanted a perfect dancer, a Could perfect singer, and a perfect comedian. We got that with Debbie, Mimi, and Ellen, but I wanted the chemistry to be right, too. You know, one wasn't going to outshow the That's other. That's what the critics said, too. They got along with each other. Let's take a look at them, shall we? Uh, we have a clip that you provided us, oh, oh, Three Girls, oh. Three, and here it is. This is a little bit from the last... Oh, yeah, this was the one that was on the air where they're playing uh, maids of famous stars. You'll okay. enjoy this, Kenny. I do it. I look at here it, it home every night. <laughs> I'm sorry we're late, baby. I had to drive Miss Streisand to the vet. Oh, yeah? What's wrong with the dog? Nothing. He's having his teeth capped. Oh. <laughs> so what is happening at Miss Reddy's? That's Miss Reddy's, and she's terrific, thank you. You know, she's so generous. This morning, Helen went through her entire wardrobe closet and told me I could pick out anything I wanted. Stop! Ah. Nice. What'd you get? Three sports jackets and a tie. <laughs> well, girls, do you know what Miss Ross told me? 
she told me that I am the only person in this world that she trusts with her personal secrets, girl. No. Oh, honey, it warmed my heart so. When did she tell you that? Girl, she told me that yesterday while she was tied to the bedpost in her chicken suit. <laughs> It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. Girls three on a week from Wednesday night, starting in a mini series. You have worked a lot with women, you two. These three girls, also Carol Burnett, Joan Rivers. Uh, what is your Carol special? Channing. Carol oh, I Channing. Shouldn't, I don't want to plug her. I don't want to plug Carol Channing. But it's true. Mostly women. Now three girls. First of all, there was Gail in yes. my life. Right? Is this yes. Notice how he's taking over. Now? No, but it's true. <laughs> it's always been women, right? Uh, Anne Bancroft. Uh, That's right. Anne Margaret. Drops names, too. Anybody Does named they... Anne or a woman? There's any women stars out there looking for... No, specials? come on now. Why is it that you two are particularly uh, adept and perhaps drawn toward working with superstar women? Kenny likes them, and I am one. <laughs> I see. <laughs> All right. I think it started at the Upstairs Downstairs, which was the first things we ever wrote. Uh, they were from Madeline Kahn and Lily Tomlin, sketches for them. We all started at the same time. And it just seemed to be the easiest way and Carol Burnett was our first big show so we gravitated towards women yeah. actually there were very few women comedy writers when we started I know. very few how many when you started one. Gail maybe one other one <laughs> that was it yeah no, um, actually uh, no Selma Diamond and Treva Silverman had started but in variety they were really none so that but they did realize that maybe a woman now and then would come up with a concept or an idea just from living as a woman like what we were talking about. You would, you know, how yeah, Don't tell. <laughs> Hi. Go ahead. But it's true. Now it's no, in vogue. It's you, now you, it's in vogue I'll to get a woman. I'll never tell. Now, don't ever tell that what we were Now it's about. in vogue to get a woman. It's, to get a reversed, woman. You know? Well, you know, I, and I'm for it, too. Let it be in vogue. Because for a long time, we were, um, they wouldn't let us in the door, right? So now we're a minority. They want, they want us. Terrific. It feels good. Yeah. I'm glad. Ha has any of your material ever been censored? I'm thinking about the changes in comedy from the time you people started, oh. maybe 10, 12 years ago, to now. Really? And that's a lot of years, there really. There was one funny, the Doris Day one the was funny. I know. When we started, you couldn't say the word virgin on television. I love that that was, a, that was censored. It's true. We were doing virgin Doris a bad Day word? take yes. off, and we wanted Carol to say, I'll have you know I'm a virgin, and they wouldn't allow it. So she said, I'll have you know I'm a nice person. <laughs> it's the nice same person. thing, isn't it? I, I don't, I, I gosh. <laughs> you know, last night um, I, I was doing a thing and, and Dennis James was there and we were into this same uh, kind of a conversation and he said, he said, this is 10 years ago, he said pregnant on his show. He said the word pregnant. He had a, uh, a woman in the audience who was pregnant and he got 10,000 hostile letters because of that. Why do you suppose they've come around in just such a short time? And all in the family did a lot, I think. Mm -hmm. I really do think when they finally realized that not only were people not uh, offended by it tremendously, but they uh, they liked it. And they showed a bathroom for the first time on television. You know, you That's weren't right. allowed to show a bathroom before all on the family. And you had to did. say things like um, bathroom bowl. I mean, uh -huh. it's like you know, television uh -huh. people didn't go to the bathroom. You know? right. And bathroom tissue. Yeah, you couldn't say, yeah, that's right. You could not say the other thing. You couldn't say toilet paper. Oh, I'm, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said it, and this is a live show. You know what Kenny said? You're such a brave person. A <laughs> person. That's right. Gail Barrett and Kenny Sons, thank you so very much for being with us again. Promise us you'll come back. You are regulars on our Sunday show because you're always into something interesting and exciting. And, uh, your relationship may flourish forever, I hope. I love being And your here. marriage, too, Gail. I hope Three Girls, Three isn't a dog. I mean, I love the dog show, but, you know. <laughs> I know segue. you do. And good plug. And again, <laughs> Three Girls, Three is on a week from Wednesday and for the two following Wednesdays after that. And who knows, maybe forever, if you people like it. We'll take a break now, and then we're going to talk to a woman, Catherine Nash, who's going to, do, uh, who's going to talk about women getting jobs, just exactly what we were talking about here. We'll be right back. Thank you.